Team of the season is finally here. If you're looking to get yourself any coins from the best supplier in town, check out my sponsor, FIFACoinZone.com, and use the code Haber to get yourself 5% off. It's 1 a.m. on Sunday night or Monday morning, and we have, of course, Squad Battles David being the legend that he is, has played all of his games on Squad Battles, and we have Elite One Squad Battles Awards. And as well, I don't know if my PlayStation's turned on. It is turned on. So we've got my Squad Battles Awards. I think I only finished in gold, but I'm going to open them at the end as well. Uh, Dave also has a Team of the Season pack for us, so we've got a few decent packs to open. Um, and as you see every week, we get Elite One Squad Battles, some decent uh, some decent packs, rare mega packs. I am a big fan of rare mega packs. Uh, we also get 30,000 coins, a really nice kit, actually. I do really like that kit, the camo kit. And we get, of course... A foot swap player, which I will obviously be using. I think I'm going to go for James Rodriguez. Let me know down below who you are going for in foot swap. I'm going for James Rodriguez for the simple reason that um, I think I just prefer having a high rated inform for an SBC as opposed to getting like a Kyle Walker or whatnot. But here are the packs that we have. We have got one, two, three, four, four rare mega packs and an EFL tops pack which is pretty decent. So we have last week's Squad Battle, Squad Battle Rewards. If you guys didn't see, we didn't uh, upload Squad Battle Rewards last week. Um, but we do have it for this week instead. And of course, the EFL Tots Pack. So let's start off with the first rare mega pack. Let's see what we can get in our first rare mega pack for Elite One Squad Battles Rewards. And we are not going to get a board in the first one. Disappointing start, however. You never know. We could uh, we could progress and get something better later on in the video. Uh, you never know. So let's see if we can get something a little bit better in one of the next packs. Uh, all these players are useful. I've got a, a sneaking suspicion in the next week or two, we're going to get, obviously, the league upgrades. So all these rare players are usable uh, and keepable, should I say. Is that a word? Keepable? Uh, you should hold on to your rare players because I think we're going to get upgrade packs like the league-specific upgrades. Walk out. Come on. What's it going to be? It's not a blue. It's an inform. Go on. Show me that Belgian flag. Portuguese centre forward Bruno Fernandes, 89 rated inform Bruno Fernandes. That is incredible. How much does he sell for? That's an 89 rated inform right there. He's only 57,000 coins. I am going and buying some because that is a good investment in my opinion. Oh my word. Okay. What a fantastic pack. That is actually incredible. Yo, that is actually sick and it's tradable as well. What a pack. You rarely even get walkouts from Squad Battle Rewards. We just got a walkout 89 raid in form. That is incredible in my opinion. Let's go. All right, we'll take that. Nice little pack there, EA. Thank you very much. We'll take it. We'll store those reds on the transfer list. Let's go, EA. Come on. We've got two more rare mega packs now for last week's Elite One Squad Battles. Or this week's. I don't know. I don't know which ones are which. Um, we're not going to get back-to-back -back walkouts, sadly. I, I just hit my mic. I do apologize. Um... What are we getting there? We're going to get an Italian goalkeeper. 84 rated parent is a good pull as well. We'll take that. I think 84s are currently going for like three to 5,000 coins, roughly somewhere around there. So all 84s are decent. They might be going for a bit more come Monday or Tuesday if we get a guaranteed team of the season most consistent pack as well. Don't know if we will or not, but if we do, these are going to rock it up because I imagine it'll be a bit higher rated than the EFL Tots pack. Although I'm not entirely sure. EA have been a bit weird this year with what they've released, so... Who knows? Anyway, we've got one more rare mega pack now, and then we have the EFL team of the season pack as well. So here we go. Last rare mega pack. Come on, EA. Show me a walkout, please. No walkout. Can we get a blue, though? No blue. All right. We're not going to get a blue in any of the Elite One Squad Battles packs. What are we going to get, though? It's going to be, you know what? A summer 84 rated again. Not too shabby. We'll take that. All 84s are decent. We'll, we'll take any 84. Not too shabby at all. Thank you very much, EA. Uh, anything else in the pack? Go on. Show us two 84s at least. Come on. Ah, uh, no, no other 84 in... Well, I mean, you might want to have one in the duplicates, but none in the uh, none in the actual pack. We've got an 83 Kagawa. Oh, that's not too bad, to be fair. In terms of squad battles rewards, that is, in my opinion, probably the best that I've had so far out of doing these videos. I think that's the best we've had so far. So, we have an EFL Tots player pack now. Come on, EA. Show me a decent one. Let's see a walkout. Let's see, let's see an 88 rate Bowen or someone like that. Go on. Show us a Bowen. Show us someone like that. Come on. No walkout. That's tough to take, unfortunately. It's going to be a blue, though, of course. We'll take a blue. Um, but unfortunately, it's going to be... Um, I don't even know who this is. I have no idea. Who are you? It's going to be Davies. 83 rated. It's not the worst, to be fair. Um, it's just one below walkout territory. So it's not too bad. We'll take that. Uh, it's a little bit better than, obviously, like Norwood and players like that. Shame it's not a walkout, but you can't have amazing pack pulls in every single pack, can you? We've had an incredible amount of good pack pulls in terms of what we usually get. Usually, we get 
get a couple of non-boards at all. Um, but this week we've had, obviously, the informed Bruno Fernandes and, of course, uh, a few 84s. So I am very happy with that. Now, let's go ahead over to the PlayStation and open up my squad battles rewards. I think they're only gold three, but we might as well open them anyway. Now, I did want to say as well, I'm currently an 11-0 in foot champs. I'm 11-0, which is uh, it's, it's decent for me. It's, um, you know, it's pretty much what I get every week. I get around 11-0. Maybe I get, like, one or two losses, but, you know, I've, I've played decent FIFA this week. Uh, debating whether to carry on or not and get a three more extra wins for gold three, but truthfully, like, I, I wish EA communicated more. It's a travesty that we have not been told whether or not rewards this week will have Team of the Season players in or not, or whether next week rewards will have Team of the Season players in or not. It's really sad that they don't want to communicate these sort of things with us because, I mean, like, come on. This should be basic communication, the basic stuff that should be, uh, that should be told to us. Like, why isn't it being told to us? I don't know. But anyway... Off topic, we got uh, gold three in squad battles. Now, this was literally from playing uh, one game to do, I think I completed a, uh, I think I completed Onana in one game, and then three games to get the extra foot swap play using the Mexican players. So we got ourselves a jumbo premium gold pack and a prime mixed players pack, 10,000 coins, and of course the foot swap player and the decent kit as well. And I think... I don't know if I want to actually. I don't know if I want to use this kit. The reason is because I think it might blend in with the uh, with the pitch a little bit, and I don't think that's a good thing. Um, but let me see if I've got enough tokens real quick to complete James Rodriguez. That is the priority for me. Getting a 91 rated in form is uh, is priority, and then Cancelo is next priority. So uh, let's see. Do we have enough to complete ourselves James Rodriguez? We need seven foot swap players. How many do I have? EA. Do I have enough? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, here we got enough. Let's go. Come on, easy. All right, let's 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 submit all of these and then get ourselves the hammers and then we'll get ourselves uh those packs opened as well. So I'm actually I think Photoshop's a really cool promo. I, I I'm a big fan of Photoshop. I think it's like it's really cool that we can get these cards for free. Uh, and a lot of people will really enjoy using something like a, a, an Inform Hammers Rodriguez or a Foot Birthday Kyle Walker, or they'll benefit heavily from a base icon pack. So I think it's really cool. Um, and I'm a big fan of EA for this sort of thing. Giving us free stuff, not so much on the level of like the World Cup mode free, but like if we if you give us something decent every month, I think that's solid. But if you give us an SBC as 81 rated for free icons on the World Cup mode, that's going a little bit far, so hopefully they have learned from their mistakes. And uh, I'm, oh god, no, 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 no! I meant to click that to have a look at his stats. I don't think I'll ever use his card, but an SBC is going to be great for. Us. So let's go ahead and open up our squad battles rewards now. Of course, only gold three, so I'm not expecting anything at all from any of these packs. But let's have a look. So we've got a prime mixed players pack. I'm looking for the silvers on this. I don't think we'll get anything decent in terms of boards, but I am looking for the silvers on this because we might get a Cardiff player or a Huesca player or a Valadoy player uh, that might sell for a decent amount of coins. So that is what I want to look out for here. And I want to look out for the silvers. And have we got any decent... Oh, oh, hello. Okay, we've got a Vitesse player. Don't know if Vitesse players sell. They don't. Okay, what else, what else have we got? We've got an Amiens SC. Uh, yes, he's selling. We've got a decent selling silver here. He's probably about three and a half to 4,000 coins. That is why these packs are great. A lot of people never complete in the league SPCs. The packs that have like uh, like prime mixed players or rare mixed players or election packs. And these are always really good because you can get yourself a few solid silvers that completely pay for the pack. And I know that obviously this pack was free, but it's, it's you know, just in reference. And we also got uh, Brewster. We got ourselves Rian... Rian? Ryan, Rian, Brewster, don't know how to say that guy's name, um, he doesn't sell for anything either, and uh, let's just quickly check the Greek player, do you sell for anything sir, no you do not, and apparently Irish players are selling for a bit because of McGeady, but he is not selling, I uh, don't think anyone else is selling, I'll quickly check Consigli, Consigli are you selling, I think we can maybe get a little bit out of Consigli, we'll estimate him up for 1.5k and see if we can get him, so we have a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack now, it's just a 15k pack, I'm not expecting anything good from this, but you never know, we might get something decent. We might get some decent consumables out of this as well. Uh, no walkout as expected. Probably no board either. No board. Not too worried about that. You know, we've got an 81 plus though, which is decent. What we got? Oh, we got an 80 plus, sorry. An 81. There you go. We've got a Salvio. Um, we'll take that. We'll take a Salvio. That's all right. I mean, it's not like he's going to sell for anything, but we'll take it. Uh, Chelsea, are you selling Barkley? We can get a, we can go over 1,000 for Barkley, I think. We'll list him up for 1.3k. Don't think anyone else here is selling, but let's have a look at consumables. Have we got anything? We've, oh, we got a Hunter card. Let's go. Come on. That's an easy 4K right there. Let's go. Come on. 
Easy 4,000 coins right there for the Hunter card. We'll whack that up on the market. We've got an engine as well that might sell for a little bit, but I think that's been a little bit picky. So, uh, listing up an engine for like 750 coins, uh, and you don't sell either. So we'll discard the rest, and that is it for Squad Battles. If you have enjoyed, leave a like down below. Let me know down below if you want to see me listing cards up and looking for more, like looking to see if more cards are selling for whatnot. So like if I'm opening like an Electrum Players Pack, checking the silvers and whatnot. I know a lot of people prefer me checking prices than going on Footbin, which is what I usually do. So let me know down below if you want me to do that. Now, I do have have a bunch of players on my transfer list that I'm holding on to as well. For no particular reason, Santi Mina I'm going to use for uh, uh, for the weekly objectives later on this week. These guys are for potential SBCs, like uh, guaranteed tots most consistent, although I might use that Jamal low because it looks pretty decent in game. Um, and then, of course, I've just got a bunch of walkouts from my packs I opened on Friday, um, just holding on to them in case they rise at all. So let me know down below if you want to see more of these videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you lads later.